So my name is Richie Griffiths and I am the product owner and manager for the OSDU practice in Wipro. So to give you some context, our cross-functional team has brought together Wipro's specialisation and specialist capabilities in energy domain and consulting with our engineering research and development to specialise in providing solutions as a systems integrator to the energy industry with respect to OSDU data platform based solutions. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the uh, insights <clears throat> that we've had working with our clients in this innovation space over the last three years. We've just seen some very interesting technical presentations regarding interoperability, but to conclude this session this afternoon, I'd like to talk to you about a different perspective of interoperability, what I call dimensions. <clears throat> As a systems integrator, Wipro supports an holistic view of our clients' needs when discussing the adoption, use, and inter interoperability dimensions of working with the OCU data platform. An OCU data platform journey has many touch points across an entire organization. And the focus is not just about the data or about the cloud infrastructure. It relates to the relationships between everything that's going on in the organization. Regardless of which area you, you work in or you belong to, there are connections and interactions and dependencies between you all. By approaching this journey through a systemic lens and bringing your stakeholders together, you can achieve a holistic organizational understanding of your wants and needs now and in the future. So in the short time that we've got today, I just want to try and touch on a few of these things. Values to users, what does it mean? Who are they? Uh, the relationships between applications and data. What does cloud adoption mean to an organization? And lastly, now and in the future, how do we get there? So firstly, I'd like to talk about the user. And to be honest, there's too many of them to be able to give them all justice today. <coughs> But there's many of them, and they're potentially different in different organizations. But here's a few to just get us thinking about it. But why is this important? Well, our resources are the lifeblood of our organizations. If we hamper their abilities to perform, it can directly affect the success in whatever we're doing. Each has their own specialisms. Each can work with specific data types and can have preferred applications and ways of working. Most of them, at some point, will also need to collaborate. And in the past, this could have been problematic, as data has been siloed and difficult to share and combine. The concept of the OSU data platform and the data-centric nature of bringing all this data together into a centralized and controlled and secure environment is changing the perceptions of the energy industry as to how it can collaborate in the future. But due to the sheer amounts of subsurface and geotechnical data used across the industry, there is still a way to go before we can consume all the data we'd like. This may be frustrating, but it's also the catalyst for how the forum needs to pull together, sharing our thoughts, insights, and capabilities to get to where we want to be. <clears throat> As an example of interoperability, one of our clients used the OSDU data platform to streamline and control their well planning process. They integrated their users and their applications and their data and their infrastructure and all their workflows. <laughs> then they shared this with the forum. This insight is what stimulates thoughts that leads to new initiatives within the forum. This type of collaboration is one of the elements of value and the OSDU can bring to an organization. Domain experts are able to quickly access and share and correct and correct share the correct quality assured information and this is just one area where time savings are made faster and more confident decision making reducing the cycle time to outcome has already been proven to be profitable but these activities don't happen in isolation so this leads to the next thing about applications 
So for a long time, the industry has operated in what we could call an application-centric environment. The applications we use are integral to what we do and how we do it. And as you can see, it's taken centre stage in the, in the interoperability diagram. This is... There we go. This is an image that uh, will be familiar to a lot of you. It provides the conceptual view of how the OSTU-based environment is stacked. And in there, right in the middle, are our applications. We'll continue to rely on them, but we also need them to evolve. Working with our clients, we find that they have preferred vendors. However, the appetite for change is there if vendors are unwilling to adapt to a different way of doing things. Lucky for, lucky for us all, the ISV community has and continues to embrace the OSDU and the view of how the industry is moving forward. This middle space is one where interoperability be, can, can be tangible, tangibly encountered. Wipro has worked with and continues to work with ISVs to assist in embracing the OSDU perspective, as this gives the users the maximum opportunities to not only continue to operate with their current vendors, providing seamless adaptation, but where needed, open up new opportunities in this application services space. But where is the value? Well, it can now come from the synchronicity of data between applications that can now be achieved. No longer do asset teams or data managers need to expend time and energy bringing data together from disparate application silos. It will be available via the OSDU data platform. This simplistic view belies the complexities that actually exist underneath. This complexity can exist in many different forms, but by ensuring that the synergies between the dimension stakeholders exist, this complexity can be simplified through the data platform, standardization to enable the streamlining of workflows and processes, reducing life cycle times, providing confidence in the decisions being made from within an organizational data-centric view of the world. So here, our focus finally turns to infrastructure. The elements that hold the physicality of what we do together. In a lot of organizations we work with, the responsibility for the OSDU implementation lands at the feet of the IT teams. But each can be configured differently. And each is as unique as the organizations themselves. Unique environments with a standardized, standardized model? Is this like a square peg in a round hole? Not really, but it does require some negotiation. IT departments have a different perspective of the world, and this is where the holistic relationships really start to mean something. Because up until now, we've been talking about domain users and data and workflows, and they come from a, a similar background having similar goals and aims. For IT departments, there's their aims, they're about providing what is needed safely and securely. If everyone's not aligned, this can and does delay and can also derail OSTU data journeys. So the need for negotiation and compromise is needed on all sides, at all stages, as the OSTU data platform itself is, an evolving, is on an evolving trajectory that we all have to adapt our environments along the way. And it's not surprising, as new ways of working and adaptation and change and transformation are all big tickets within an, at an organizational level. Now I'm sure you'll have seen a variation of this, this, uh, this diagram before. And it's an important slide to remember, as it's the journey that everyone is going through, or is planning on going through. On the left, we see a representation of an all too familiar scenario that will probably resonate with most people, at least in some way. All our dimensions vibrate together 
although any transformation through any transformation process. But as we discuss the complexities in the details, I have to admit, I didn't realize I was going to have to press the button so many times to get there. Right, we'll go back again now. <clears throat> so in the last few years, the forum has put a significant amount of effort into the development of the platform and its abilities to store data. And given the breadth and depth of the industry initiatives that we all want to see coming out of the forum, there is still a lot to achieve. Capitalizing on existing infrastructure, in order to diffuse the OSDU concept and incorporating it into new solutions, realizing the benefits of the past by integrating and adopting them for solutions fit for a new data-centric future. Now, I've probably not told you anything that you don't already know today, but this, uh, this holistic view is what we feel everyone needs to take into account whenever they're thinking about what they want to do. It's not just about, as I say, the domain, or the IT, or the data. Everyone's got to collaborate together to ensure that everybody is working together to get exactly what they need. But I hope, in some ways, I've made you think about it in a slightly different way. And if I have, then that might just help you on your journey. So, I don't think I've spoken for 15 minutes. So, you got yeah. three minutes spare. Oh, there we go. That's not so bad. Uh, <clears throat> um, so, thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Um, and if there's no questions, then I can let you go for your break soon. Sooner rather than later. Thank you. Okay.